Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a Burlington haul. It's a pretty decent sized one. I'll start with the non-clothes item and then I'll show the clothes. So first thing was this Bella Pierre Cosmetics Ultimate Nude Eyeshadow Palette. So 35 different colors in here. This was $9.99. My daughter picked this up. It has got some really pretty colors in there. There's some that are shimmery. My light is blinding on there. Let me see if I can turn that down a little bit. That's a little better, I guess. And it's got a little, it's magnetized whenever it closes and then it's got your little mirror in there. Next was this King Art watercolor brush marker set. I think this is the exact brand that I got her for one of her Christmas presents for the watercolor markers. She really, really liked them and saw this set of 36 of them. And these were only $12.99. That was a really, really good price for watercolor markers. So I went ahead and picked those up. This is part of her Valentine's Day. And I will do a video of her Valentine's basket and my grandmother's when I put them together. But this has uh, your three different rows. It's got all kinds of different colors. Some of them are bright, some are a little bit darker. Then uh, I haul the Lacanto Monk Fruit Sweetener. This is my absolute favorite for a sugar substitute. It bakes just like regular sugar. Doesn't do like Splenda and cause your stuff to dry out or puff up too much. Um, but the last couple times I've been to Big Lots, which is where I usually get it, in the little bags, they have been out. And those little bags cost me $3.99 in Big Lots, but at the regular store they're like $7.99. And today at Burlington I found a big bag. So this one is 28.22 ounces, and this was only $10.99. That is a very, very good deal on this. So I went ahead and picked one up just to give us some to have on hand for whenever I do some baking and cooking. Next thing I got, uh, this is for my grandmother. This is what she picked out. This is collagen and caffeine body butter. So it is coconut and rose scent, paraben free. Why would you need to put gluten free on lotion? So it says paraben free and then down here it says gluten free. I hope nobody's eating lotion. But anyways, body butter. Uh, this was $6.99 and I have not smelled it so let me see. It smells okay. Not something I would pick but it's not for me so. Next was this, uh, they've got the brand covered up. It's exfoliating body wash. It says mocha coffee infused with coconut and argon oil. And this is, if I can get that off of there. I don't know. They've got the sticker stuck over the brand name, but it's natural. Uh, something Eve or something like that but that was a uh, 399 no sorry 349 349 on a clearance then she picked up this arnica deep relief soothing foot and body rub so it says body foot ankle arch and heel massage for sore and aching feet and muscles Moisturizing and soothing. So this is supposed to have hemp seed, lavender, calendula, and peppermint in it. This was $4.99. And then the last thing I found was this Philosophy brand. Purity Made Simple Makeup Remover. So it's a 6.6 .6 fluid ounce. That was kind of hard to see through there. This was on a clearance for $3.99. Anytime you can get Philosophy brand on clearance, I always grab it. 
when I used to work at TJ Maxx, I used to snatch up every philosophy bottle that came through there. Last thing I got was two of these uh, packs of resistance bands. Uh, my grandmother is supposed to do like walking workouts. She's had back surgery. She can't do a whole lot, but uh, part of her having diabetes, uh, the doctor told her to just get up and walk. So we've been doing some like power walking workouts where they also include some strength training. So uh, one of the workouts that we really liked called for a resistance band. So we picked up two packs of these. You get three in a box and each one is a different resistance level. So you have light resistance, medium resistance, and then heavy resistance. And these are by BB Sport. And it says each band measures 47 inches long by six inches wide and it is latex free. So if you have a latex allergy, which I do, that's something to look for. Uh, these were $5.99. And I think that was it for the non-clothing part. So now jumping into the clothes, my daughter found these. They had a lot of uh, two packs of workout pants like leggings and shorts and in the regular clothing they had two packs of maxi skirts and also of these stretch pencil skirts that were in there uh, for really cheap so if you're gonna buy something and you need to get two of it Burlington's the place to go and getting two for the price that you would pay for one is really good like on these leggings these are by YMI they are capri leggings, so the top pair is this sort of like blue and gray camouflage. The back is just a speckly gray. There's nothing fancy on the bottoms. It's just a little plain straight leg. This was a two pack for $10.99, and I love whenever you can go to Burlington and see the original price tag on something. These were originally $60. For this so $10.99 was a steal so I picked that up for her that gives her some little uh, capris not just for around the house but also for this summer um, and then she was in need of some underwear so these are by Spree Intimates and it is a five pack of hipster underwear I think these were supposed to be like Valentine's themed However, they didn't have them in the Valentine's section. So you get like this little hearts and stuff on there. A pair of plain black, plain gray, plain pink, and then some with different colored lips on it. The fronts just have a little bow up at the top. And a couple of the pairs have lace on the leg. So $11.99 for a five count of underwear wasn't bad especially not for these they are super soft and stretchy they do have the uh cotton crotch in them that's something that you're always supposed to look for to avoid utis and other issues you don't want all completely silky underwear so then i found a workout top for myself this is by so it's 90 degree by reflex is the name of the brand i've never heard of them before i got this for 449 and they had their original tag on this and this was 42 dollars to start off with had i had to pay regular price so that 449 was an excellent deal so i don't know if it'll show up on camera because of it being black but it's got these sort of like rip details in the shoulders and then just kind of down like a v-neck design in the front and then where your shoulder blades are in the back but it is a little uh super stretchy sort of short sleeve crop top so i got that for whenever i work out i do uh of course the walking workouts with my grandmother but i also belly dance and so I'll probably use that whenever I'm doing my belly dance workouts. But $4.49 for that I thought was a really good deal. The next one I got 
was this Fila. It's a dark purple. And then you've got like this fuchsia and teal and lime green logo on the front. So I got this for $4.99 on a clearance. Uh, their tag also was on it. It was originally $25. So that is another uh, workout shirt for myself. Then my daughter picked out this really cute uh, button side skirt with a belt built into it. So I'll step back a little bit. It is a midi skirt, so it's supposed to come down right past your knees. And it does have a little bit of a slit that would come to just right above your knee on the left hand side. But I figure, I mean, I don't think it's going to be too short at all. But um, if she wants to, she can put leggings and stuff underneath it. But this was by the brand Meg and Margo. I've never heard of them before, but it was super cute. Um, that was marked down on a clearance to only $3.49. So a really good deal on that. And then she found this Disney hoodie. So it has, uh, of course, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Pluto, and Goofy on there. And it's a nice oversized hoodie. Not one that's going to fit real close to your body. Uh, so this was $9.99, which is not bad. Anything that's branded clothing like Disney, especially Disney, is usually pretty pricey. Uh, then my grandmother found this, uh, just a plain pink t-shirt. This is by Umbro or Umbro. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Just a nice uh, thin pink v-neck t-shirt to have for the summer or for working out. Got this on clearance for $4.99. And then of course it's got their little logo there on the front. But it's nothing that's like real big or super flashy. And then she found this really cute uh, stretchy tank top. This is from Love and Fire. Or I guess not Love and Fire, just Love Fire. Uh, they did not have their original price tag. This one was not marked down, but the regular price on it was really good. $4.99. So this is what the front of it looks like. It's got sort of like a shirred look to it. Like the top of some of those little dresses that you can get. And then it's got the nice wide uh, tank top sleeves. It's not a little skinny spaghetti strap or anything, so it won't look uh, too revealing or anything. She could wear it with like some cute capris and go out somewhere without feeling like she needs to put a sweater on. And then she found this one by Excelsius Active. I don't know why that was so hard for me to pronounce. Excelsius Active. So this is a, uh, obviously a workout shirt, but you could also just wear this as a regular t-shirt. This one, uh, is super soft, like almost silky feeling to it. Super stretchy, nice, like teal blue color. Um, and they had their original tag on it. So original price was $39.50. She got this for $3.49 on clearance. And then the last few things here uh, I found for myself. So this is by uh, New York Clothing Company. Is the brand. They did not have their original tag on this. But this is a uh, skirt. It has a belt here that's come undone. But it is like a foil material. So it is shiny and on camera it's looking gold. It is not gold. It is a copper color. So more of like a steampunk kind of copper or bronze look to it. It's got these really pretty buttons down the front and then of course the belt that goes around your waist up here. And then it has this little slit just at the very bottom in the front. 
and this is sitting like mid calf on me. So I got that for $5.99. I thought it was cute piece to go into uh, spring with and then possibly take into summer. Also the copper color to it could be used next fall with some little boots and sweaters. I did find a sweater there that I thought was really cute and it matched this almost perfect, but uh, I didn't get it today. They still wanted $10 for it and I just wasn't going to pay that much for it today. I'll go back and see if it's marked down later and if not, it's all right. I can live without it. So another one from the same brand, that New York clothing company. This one I only paid $4.49 on clearance. And it is a little khaki colored skirt. So it has these little uh, pocket details. Are they actual? Po no, not real pockets, of course, because women don't get to have pockets. We forget. But little pocket details. And then the bottom has these little uh, pleats here on either side where your uh, legs would sit inside of the skirt. So that is what the bottom of it looks like. And then your back is just plain. There's no uh, detail on it or anything. So $4.49 for that one. And the last one is by Emmy and Joe. This is another brand that I had not heard of until today. And they did not have their original price tag, but this was marked down on clearance to $6.99. And it is a really stretchy, um, this is almost like a t-shirt material is what it feels like. But it is this gorgeous pastel yellow. And the stripes that run across it are actually silver. They're sparkly. And so down the left side, you have this real pretty button detail. And then when you get to the very bottom, there is a little slit right there on the left hand side. So I thought that was super cute. And the yellow is going to be a great color for going into spring. That was the last piece on the Burlington Hall. And then I forgot I wanted to add in. So we added up all of the tags on everything, uh, the original prices of it, what we would have had to pay if everything was regular price was $386.33. However, uh, whenever we got all of our clearance items, which almost everything I got was on clearance, our total at Burlington today ended up coming to $129.30, and then after tax, it was $140.09. That $386.33 was the before tax number, so I'm going to go with our before tax number on the receipt, which is the $129.30. Subtracted that, so our total savings today at Burlington was $257.03 which is a fantastic deal. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to check out some more of our videos. Also share some with a friend if you think they might enjoy it so they can subscribe too, and we will see you all in our next video.